Max uh, had several friends who had this disease. It was called Ewing sarcoma. It's a pediatric cancer. Very aggressive, very nasty. I win all those fights. This one I lost, and I don't know how, but I did. Uh, I was the captain of the medical team uh, for Max. That was my job. Um, he had a friend, Melissa Carroll. She was a watercolorist, and she died from Ewing sarcoma a couple of years before Max. Uh, she was also a curator. She had a collection of tiny bottles from around the world. And Max always brought her into the room when he read poetry. He never not read a poem about Melissa, Melissa Carroll. And uh, I would like to bring her into the room. She's a very significant part of his life and his fight. And a beautiful, beautiful person. The watercolor eulogy. And also now I find that the poems he wrote to Melissa I kind of want to say them to him because he's not gone and I'm speaking to that heaven that we all talked about earlier, whatever it is. The watercolor eulogy. When you leave my mind, the last pieces of you to leave are your hands. When you go to the earth, the last part of you visible above what's either sand or clay isn't a hand, but a glowing shroud. The black goose with your name in its throat and my name in its stomach will cough you up with their hoots. Part jelly, part watch, part bone, part me, part power. There is a dead language buried in English. There is a word no one remembers for a temple with a ball of millet sealed in each brief brick. When you are buried, the world will, will the word will grow as sa sound. Its meaning will change to specify you as the builder. No one can speak the language that you will rewrite. I know this is the is in the heaven we wanted. Mm. Whatever is. And soon I'll join you amid the terms for tiny bottles of defunct potions and no longer understood passions. And together, we'll bury our own particular kind of I love you. I have no clue how similar it will be to other phrases that live on in this world. But I take comfort in imagining it. I wouldn't mind it being sealed with us in our own brick of earth. 